How's it going, everybody? I is Reaper31 here, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Major Mode series on FIFA 15 with Lazio. In the last episode, we had quite an exciting encounter. Uh, had two draws, Roma and the Europa League match against Warsaw, which was an exciting draw at the last minute, and then we finally snapped our win the streak against Asulo. This episode, three matches once again, and it doesn't start off any easy as we take on top of the league, Juventus on the road. Now, last season, we had a huge win there. Can we repeat that performance that will be the question, and then we'll follow up the last two matches. More World Cup qualifying matches. This time will be Hungary and Belgium once again. So sit back and enjoy, and let's head to Turin for Lazio v. Juventus. And here we are from Juventus' home ground, Juventus Stadium. It's an overcast night here in Turin. It's a big matchup as we take on the defending champions of Serie A for how many years in a row now? It's Juventus. Take a look at the Juventus lineup. Definitely a lot of good quality. You know, the likes of Pogba and Carlos Tevez has been such a menace. But a 3-5-2 going to be very difficult for us to move the ball in the midfield this time around. And our side, uh, not a whole lot of changes. Martetti's back in net for this matchup. Uh, Fernandez as well. Cataldi is going to get the start with the injured Anze. And uh, Moskalopoulos is coming in at center back. And Lubick takes a touch. Oh, nice ball to Abarbo. Cut inside. Abarbo off the post. And there he finishes it. Abarbo has made a habit of scoring those goals. Oh, my. What, what a finish from Abarbo. And he is finding his form here. And we strike early on the counterattack. It was a lovely over-the-top ball to him. And he got to it. Mate got around the center back who was trailing him there. Nice cut. Hits it near post at the... <laughs> hits it to the near post. Bounces off it. Right back to him. And that's an easy finish. Keeper was way out of line there. A very cheeky goal indeed. Barbo gets number eight in the season. He has been a goal-scoring machine for us these last few matches. Tevez on the wing. Get rid of it. The shot! Ooh, just over the bar. Moskalopoulos, man. You got to clear that. Can't just take a touch. The youngster going to have his work cut out for him here today, and that ball just goes sailing over the bar. Oh. Oh, the strike! Oh! What kind of defense was that? Everybody was just kind of standing around, and the ball just trickles in the back of the net. It's an equalizer from Juventus. Give him credit, though. That was good play from him. Good, nice, patient buildup in the box. Moscolapas got caught up marking uh, Tevez, and Tevez laid it off, and DeVry could not get there in time. Neither could Marchetti. Just as things are really going in our favor, Juventus get one back here. It's going to be one crazy match. I could tell already Marone gets his second of the season. And just like that, we're tied back up. Oh, Pogba goes down. Oh, no. Pogba. Danger, man. Oh, no. Boike. Just sends it wide. Another good shot for Juventus here on the replay. Oof. There we go. Nice D there. Ah, that's a turnover. Oh, no. That's a bad play by Radu. The strike. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tevez almost got a penalty there for that. That was a bad play by Raddy. He was trying to play that ball back. Mm. Big save by Marchetti. Ah. Close him down. The shot. Ooh, Pogba just sent that ball wide.
It was not a bad effort, but just wide of the post there. And the first half is over and done with. Oh, got to take a deep breath after that one. That was just such an intense match. I mean, it was just not, it was very fluid back and forth football. Both sides found a goal there in the first half. The strike, Marchetti, wow. Oh, another vicious strike. It's going to go off for a corner. There's nobody, everybody's kind of standing around, and Marchetti had to save that with his knees. It was a good save. And now it's a Barbo's turn. Oh, nice move. Barbo, the strike. Oh, poor effort by Barbo. Just ran out of gas there at the end. But what work rate he has. Just cutting through defenders so quick, so agile. But the finish of product is not quite there. Nice try. Oh, Tevez is through. Oh, and Tevez misses the open net as the keeper was coming out there. Nice ball to Tevez, but Tevez could not finish it. Crossed in. Oh, man, what a ball in. Moskalopoulos won that one back. No, where's the foul, ref? Oh, it's out for a goal kick. As it falls right on the foot of the Aventus player. Porta Honda holds it up. Finds a Barbo. Ederson. Ederson's through. Finish it. Oh. Finish it again. Yes, Ederson. <laughs> what a late equal. <laughs> what a late winner. That surely does it. Way to stick with it, Ederson. It was a great through ball from a Barbo. He should have finished it first time, but the second by the cherry is oh so sweet. Oh, look at this. Great finish. I mean, lucky it bounced right back at him. Off the defender. And he just buried that one, just chipped it by the keeper. Oof. What a calm finish that was. Big finish on the road. Can we steal another three points here against Juventus? For the second time in a row we've played them? It could be a possibility. There's not a lot of time left. Ederson gets his first of the season. Wow. This team, man, could somehow just, when it wants to, it can grab the reins. Chipped up to header. No way. Oh, my. Surely I thought we had this in the bag, but what an equalizer from Lorente, the substitute. I thought we had that well covered. Chipped in. Oh, DeVry just went for the clearance instead of challenging the ball carrier. And Tevez just ducked it. And, oh, Marchetti just missed. And what power. How much. You got enough power on it to get over the stretching Marchetti. And, oh, that is unlucky. Oh, Marchetti. We could have had three points. Come on. We just needed one big save there. We didn't get it. Lorente gets number four of the season. That's a huge one. Two late 90 minute goals. Surely there's no time left for a winner. Surely that's got to be it. Yep, that'll do it. No time left. And luckily we get the point, but unfortunately we probably should have got three because we played very well. We shut down Carlos Tevez. He didn't have very many opportunities, but they still found themselves uh, a, little, a very late. What a crazy match. I mean, I said it during the, during the whole entirety of the match. It just seemed absolutely nuts. I mean, they were definitely pounding us at the net 16 shots to just our seven but we were more clinical on target with six instead of the, to their eight i mean we're getting chances we're making we're getting good chances and man we had a couple that could have easily buried <laughs> we luckily got a couple of rebounded shots one off the post and one off the keeper so 
Possession, yeah, it was definitely Juventus's day. I mean, the defensively, it was very even throughout, although I didn't think the referee called a lot of fouls. He kind of let play go on. It was a pretty wild match. Uh, obviously, Pogba getting hurt. That might be a blow to Juventus there. He was definitely a troublemaker in the first half. Despite giving up the late, late goal, Marchetti gets man of the match. Um, I would say so. He faced more shots. Stayed in net pretty strong there. Uh, Barbo, solid performance once again. Did he get the? He did get the. He got a goal and an assist from. Uh, he got the assist for the Ederson goal. He played a lovely through. Well, Ederson made a great run there into the box for the goal. Um, midfield, I thought played all right. You know, I still got some questions about the formation. I might need to change it up once again. Maybe get something a little better. Uh, Pekarik coming on. Uh, didn't do much better than Radu, but uh, Moskalopoulos, despite being so short, he plays so big. I mean, he had a hard time. He was matched up with Tevez, and you know what? He played him pretty tough. Smalls on smalls, man. It worked out for us, strategy-wise. But we'll take the draw, and we'll just get re- get rested up for the international break here once again as we got more World Cup qualifying matches to get underway here in this episode. All right, welcome to Sweden, everybody. It's another World Cup qualifier here as we play host to Hungary in the group stage of the qualifying rounds. It's not been a good qualifying round for us so far. We've struggled quite a bit. I don't think we've won a match yet in the group. And here is our starting lineup. You can see um, pretty much our standard 4-3-3. I decided to change the formation up a little bit. Added two CDMs instead of a regular just three flat. Obviously, the big uh, thing is no Ibra. And for the Hungarian side, um, take a look there. I don't think we have any Lazio players in, from Hungary, so... A 4-2-3-1 should be a pretty even matchup, I feel. Over. Fails to make the tackle there. Crossed in. Get rid of it. Ooh-hoo-hoo-hoo. And uh, almost a goal there. There's a replay of it. Wow, I had two guys at the ball. We both missed, completely missed the header. Had their backs turned. Headed. Oh, what a looping header into the back of the net. Oh, I'll take it. That was just a looping shot. Who got the goal there? It was Wernbloom. Yeah, Wernbloom. The center defenseman steps up. And that ball was just sitting in the box. Headed back centered up. The p- clearance was very poor. And he just loops it over the keeper in, into the back of the net. Keeper thought, oh, that's going over. And that ball just looped right over it. And oh, what a perfect looping header shot that was. The keeper obviously didn't think it was going to go in. He thought it was going over, but nope, that's going into the back of the nets where that's going, and Wernbloom gets the goal. It's first in the qualifiers. We need a big one from somewhere, and maybe that'll be our uh, saving grace here. Oh, Berg! Berg found the header, but he didn't find the back of the net. Oh, that was on target, too. Just couldn't keep it down. Ah, that's right to him. Strike off target. Kovacus again with the shot. Just sloppy play getting out the back. We get the ball, but we just turn it right back over to the Hungarians. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Close him down. The strike. Ooh, what a strike. And our midfield just all over the place on that one. And, man, we are lucky they are not hitting the mark because we are, they are getting chances. Cleared away. Well, we survived the onslaught that was hungry. They came right after us after we got that goal. But, man... Things have kind of settled down for us. We haven't been really pressing the attack. Just been kind of hanging on, just sitting back. 
but we do have the lead at home, 1-0, thanks to the Wormbloom looping header. Crossed in. The header off the post. Oh, they've buried it. It's a substitute. Oh, what was my defense doing there? They were just completely not marking him in the box, and he finds the back of the net off the post. Nice ball in. Had the keeper beat, uh, but he just couldn't get back in time. Ball just slide, and then he just slides in there. Easy finish. Mm. These qualifying matches have been so difficult this season. And uh, the substitute gets his first in the qualifying group, and he just came on as well, so that's a shot in the stomach. Oh, ref, that's a foul. Thank you. Surely he's going to get booked for that. Yep, card comes out. That's a yellow. Thomas Kadar, the guilty party. Reckless challenge there. Oh, man. The shot! Ooh! Captain getting a shot, another shot off there. We had him covered, but he still got a vicious strike off. Nice move. Oh, he's dancing. The strike off the post! What a strike! Cleared away. Oh, man, that's a poor clearance. The strike. Once again, Hungary are just laying it on us thick right now. We just cannot do anything but sit back and defend. Oh, man, what a through ball. The substitute off the post. And he got his own rebound, and he put it on net. Oh, man. What was our center back doing there? He should have been... He just let him walk through. And a foul's been called. Oh, that's his second yellow. He's gone. He just showed him the red. Kadar, yep, that's his second one. We fouled uh, Ekdal getting the throw in, so he's going to be suspended for the next match. Yep, definitely foul there. Elm the shot! Oh, big save by the keeper. Right at him, though. Keeper made it look easy. Oh. Ah, uh, they'll do it. So it's another draw here in this episode. A little not as exciting as the first match. Glancio and Juventus, but entertaining nonetheless. Uh, Hungary definitely were the better side here. We just didn't seem to... Some figured out what this team needs to be moving forward, but 1-1 is the result. Take a look at the stats here. 16 shots to 6. You could say it was pretty one-sided. Again, we're not taking a lot of chances, but we're not missing... or not taking wild chances either. We're just keeping, you know, taking good shots... Uh, they had a lot of fouls called. They were very physical. Um, obviously that guy's getting sent off at the end. So I thought it was a pretty evenly played match. I thought we played well at times and just both defenses were, had their moments, but, uh, you know what? At the end of the day, it's still a draw. Man in the match goes to Varga, who got the assist on the goal. And, uh... Our guys, not too bad. Our, all our players played pretty well. I mean, Zengen was all over the place today. I mean, he always had it, was touching the ball. Uh, Bahui, all right. Our midfielder looked like they played very well together for once. Our back line, after we made those changes, definitely uh, turned it around there. But uh, let's... Uh, End this, uh, end this match and get ready for the final uh, group stage match here against uh, Belgium. All right, time for the final episode of this, final match of this episode, I should say. We're playing at home once again. This time it's against Belgium, who beat us earlier 
in the qualifying groups. Right now, we are sat at the bottom. Belgium are trying to find their way into the top two. They're just a point off. Uh, I was surprised Hungary was actually fighting in second place right now going into that match. But Belgium in third, just a point behind. They need a result here. We definitely need to get a win. We can't afford not to get a result here. If we keep getting draws and not picking up wins, we're going to pretty much kiss our World Cup hopes goodbye. And here we go. There's our lineup. Uh, not much changes. We changed around the uh, left back and left center back for this match. Everybody else kept their spots from the last match. And Belgian now. We can see our boy Kavandas playing uh, right back. But man, what a lineup. Lukaku, Hazard, Melanda, Vertonghen, company, Courtois. Oh, man, just a studded lineup. Nice deflected ball. Cleared away. Oh, that's poorly cleared. The strike. Ekdal just deflects it. Lukaku. Oof. Dangerous in the box, as always. We just try to whip that shot, that left foot, and it's off the arm of Ekdal for a corner. Headed, Lukaku, oof. Nice effort on goal. For Hazard, he's going to get there too. Good pressure. Crossed in, header, cleared away. Not quite though. Oh, what a strike. <laughs> Witzel, man, oof. The fro was looking for the bicycle kick, and wow, struck that one very clean. Oh, he's got space. Take a strike. Nope. Finally get a shot on on the net, but trying to go near post. It actually, was struck very well, just over the bar. Oh, Lukaku's got space. The strike off the post. Wow. They're in the same play they did last time. Number eight was running free, and wow, he got that shot off cleanly, and somehow it stays out. Wow. Mbele. Oh, no. The strike. Oh, there it is. We're just, it was only a matter of time, let's be honest. Witzel just buried that one. The Belgians are just too good. Just look at that, just four guys standing around, and none of them want to go after the ball carrier. I really hope FIFA 16 fixes that, where the defenders actually go to the danger air, dangerous areas of the pitch to help defend. Oh, man. Good goal. Witzel gets his second of the campaign. That's going to do it. Our staff over and done with. It's about what I expected. The Belgians just quality while we're just fighting to get stay with on pace. But Witzel's the difference with this 33rd minute goal. 1-0 to the Belgians. There we go. Take a shot, Berg. Oh, Berg nearly buried that one. That was close. Company thought he had it covered, but man, what a strike. Berg's looking lethal at the side of the box right there. Send him. Ah. Oh, Zengen. Oh, ho, ho. what a counterattack. Zengen made a perfect run. And he buried it. Oh, get that chest fixed, boy. Oh, man. He's exhausted from making that run, but wow, what a finish. Got, got fortunate there. Another break for us. Let's 
get a replay of that. We're holding it up. Vertonghen got it, but then it was bounced right back into the path of Zingin, and he just buried it. Right at Courtois, near post, and oh yeah, Courtois just misread that kick. He thought it was going far. Got to say, maybe Courtois should have probably saved that, but we'll take it. Zingin gets his first of the competition. Now we're all tied up at home. Over to Bruno. Cross in Lukaku. A dangerous ball in. Tazard. Oh no, my defenders. And Witzel scores yet again. Same play as he did, scored the first goal. Just, just held onto the ball into the box and buried it. He's had a heck of a game. This time three defenders go right by him. Not even bother to challenge him. Just let him walk in and he just buried it near post. There we go. Nice. Keep it. Aw. The header. Oh, Berg. What are you trying there, kid? I'm not falling awake kick, but it just went sailing over the bar. Oh, nice. And that will do it. It was going to be a tough fight. Whistle, man, he was just, uh, Witzel, he was just commanded this match in the midfield just had nothing for them great job for belgium they were definitely the better side here but at least we got a goal back to make it interesting they actually did a pretty good job of crawling the shots back we were obvious we only had like three shots the first half and we held them to only a couple there in the second half but one was the goal but look at that 30 tackles we were definitely on the back foot attacking trying to just win the ball back um not a bad effort, but, you know, just uh, you could tell the quality difference in the two sides. Man of the match goes to Witzel, 9.4, two goals. Yep, no, no questions asked there. Hazard got an assist. Uh, did uh, we get an assist on that? Nope, it's just Zengen got the rebound goal. Uh, all in all, everybody that came in played well. Midfield played exceptionally well, I thought. Uh, Berg could have done maybe better. Uh, the wings played well. Cock and click uh, did really well coming off the bench. You know, really was a real threat there. I'll have to think about starting him over Bahui from now on. But that's going to be it, guys, for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll be back to more Serie A action in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, this is Ice Reaper 31, and I'll see you around.